Hey, what's up guys? Um, I want to hop on here and um, talk to you guys about this garden uh, that's I've got going on here. Uh, hopefully I'm not blocking my microphone. Um, yeah, don't mind the weeds. <clears throat> so, uh, don't mind the weeds. It has literally been raining in Texas for a long time, like a long, long time. It was raining so much I was about to start building an ark. And uh, just because I thought maybe, maybe... God forgot about his promise about um, not flooding the, the the world with a flood, you know. But anyway, now nah, I'm kidding, y'all. But um, so I want to show you guys uh, my garden here and uh, maybe uh, point out a few things that might help you guys. Um, this might help anybody, but especially if you live in Texas. Um, and I know it's uh, a lot harder to grow things here than there are in a lot of places. And so um, I figured I would... Uh, I figured I would uh, give you guys my two cents on what I did here and what really helped my garden grow. Um, our garden, my wife's garden. Um, I like to come out here and hoe, you know. I used to hate this. I used to hate to do this when I was a kid, but now I find it... Not, don't be trying to kill the corn, Sam. Um, now I find it kind of fun and relaxing. But um, So something that I did uh, when I first... When I first uh, I'm going to come over here. When I first moved to this property, uh, there was... This was all a pasture. And uh, there's the greenhouse and whatnot. But anyway, this was all a pasture, and uh, I uh, took the fence down and, and said I want to have a garden spot. And we started out with um, my phone's wanting to die here. Started out with I'm going to show you. I'll turn this around. We started out with this. These two little guys right here. Got a little camping site going on. Uh, we started out with these two guys underneath this tree over here, and then we moved them over here and whatnot. Um, and so. Uh, that's what we started out with, and we added, just kept bringing topsoil that we had on the property here that people pushed on a pile, and we just started bringing topsoil over here, and uh, all kinds of stuff. But, you don't just have to have topsoil, you gotta have something, I mean seriously, it's still squishy out here, I shouldn't be out here, I'm like packing this mud in here, but I have to, I have to get rid of some of these weeds, because it's been raining for a month, straight. So, um, anyway, I, uh, I, I brought topsoil in here, and... Um, like for instance, we've uh, me and these these kids that were working for me, we found a, a round bale on the side of the road, <laughs> just down the road here, and so we took my dually and, and went down there and loaded it all up, and we just spread it out here. It was during the winter time, but we put that on there. We put um, horse manure, chicken manure. Um, I got like 32 or 33 bucket tractor bucket loads of cow manure from back there that my neighbor had, and I brought that all in here. And I know a year or two ago I commented or posted on Facebook and. And said, hey, this cow manure should make anything grow. And people are like, oh my God, you're going to burn it up and all this. Um, it wasn't like just straight rich cow manure. Um, it had hay mixed in it. And um, yeah, I'm like, don't worry about it. Okay, I've been gardening since I was a little kid. So I don't know everything, but I've had a lot of time to mess it up anyway. So um, so we put a whole bunch of cow manure in here. And it was like old hay that was mixed in with it. And uh, just really anything. I mean... Um, instead of throwing your, your old weeds and all that stuff like on a compost pile, or if you put it on a compost pile, put it back on your garden, but instead of burning it or st something like that, just throw it out here in your garden. Um, I don't, I'm not like some sort of, I don't know, biologist or soil expert or something, but I just know that if you have a lot of humus and things like that in your soil, it really helps stuff uh, grow in this state. And so this garden, I would say, um, is doing much better. The weeds are doing really great, but... Um, it's doing much better than a lot of gardens that I see in this area. Now, granted, it did rain like a son of a biscuit around here, so it's like crazy wet, and um, that's my only excuse for the weeds. But I'm, I'm going to flip this around, and I'm just going to show you guys um, some of the things we have in here. And uh, let's see. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, tomatoes, right? or sorry, tomatoes, potatoes right here. Um, literally, like, bajillions of them. Uh, we got one little spot here where it, uh, if I can zoom in here, no, we can't. We got one little spot here where the, uh, where it kind of wanted to wash here because our property's all on an angle and all the water will runs that way. So these little potatoes are a little bit smaller. Um, now I haven't dug any of these out of the ground. For those of you that don't know, uh, potatoes grow underneath the, the soil. Um, and so we've got a whole bunch of those. We've got, um, some cucumber plants coming here. Um, here's some... I forget what that is. My wife told me what that is. I don't even know what that is. Um, we've got a whole bunch of these cucumbers coming, or pickle plants, whatever you want to call them. 
I call them cucumbers. I think that's the proper term for them. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of these, and uh, and I just put this little hog panel up here tonight. I'm gonna uh, experiment with this tonight and see, or this year, and see if I can get them to grow up on these guys. Um, because last year they just went all over the place and like took up so much room. And so I know there's lots of weeds in here. That's why I'm out here. But the ground is still way too muddy to even be out here. So these are beans. Um, got a whole bunch of beans along here. What up, Katie Shelton? We always use sheep manure in our garden when I was a kid. Love it worked great. I love gardening this year. Starting everything to seed. Yeah, I think honestly, any manure. You know, actually, I was I was I was watching a video the other day and was talking about over in communist China, which is where America's headed if we don't wake up. But um, anyway, it said that people use um, um, human fecal matter for fertilizer. I would not really want to use that, but apparently over in China they do. So I think anything is pretty much great for uh, for um for fertilizer and so i didn't uh i didn't do any soil samples on this i probably should have uh but honestly i'm just kind of a dumb farmer grower gardener so i just kind of just kind of wing it and bless my garden and hope the good lord lets it grow so um here is my sweet corn it's like I'm, i know i'm not very tall but this, this stuff is like almost waist high it's i mean it's waist high on a short guy so we don't have a whole lot of of uh, sweet corn plants here but we've got quite a few and um these are tomato plants man it looks like a pasture out here i need to get to weeding but anyway these are tomato plants right here there's a whole bunch of them they look kind of sorry um they look a lot better in person but anyway these are tomato plants there's a there's a whole bunch of these too voluntary onion plant and uh here's some more voluntary potato plants one thing that's been kind of crazy is uh, the amount of voluntary plants that have come up and it's pretty cool because they're everywhere we've got voluntary uh, tomato plants and potato plants everywhere so yeah we've got those and i really am sorry about all the weeds it looks horrible out here i extended the garden this was part of my wife's flower little flower spot she had and so uh yeah getting this all going these are i think squash or zucchini got a whole mess of these right here some more voluntary uh potato plants and some watermelons right here some more watermelons um man i'm embarrassed to show you guys these weeds but i'll stop apologizing so anyway more straw more uh watermelon plants and um i really don't know what these are these are either some kind of squash or something they almost look like cucumbers but i don't know what they are uh, my wife planted some of this stuff over here and i didn't pay no attention to it so that's that's what we've got going on um more voluntary potato plants excuse me and um i'm pretty sure these are all voluntary plants that came up from last year there's some sort of squash or something these are a squash of some kind and i think a gourd maybe these are some of my wife's flowers i know they look like weeds but they're actually flowers that are planted um this is my side of the garden i've got two jalapeno plants here they're not looking too too hot but uh my wife's not a jalapeno fan so i eat all those more volunteer potato plants that's some sort of herb um this is um yeah i forgot what that is but anyway i should know i know what it is but i can't think of it right now but anyway this is another favorite spot in the garden of mine this is where all the tea is at um if you plant this tea and just kind of do what we did and throw some more manure in there and more topsoil it grows like crazy and uh my wife makes me tea every morning because i'm way too refined to drink coffee so anyway uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. I'm going to turn this back around and talk to you guys for a minute. Uh, let's see. Katie said, have you had luck before with one, only one row of sweet corn? No, I have not. Um, this is the first year I've done the sweet corn. I've never tried it before, so I don't really know. Am I supposed to have two rows of sweet corn? I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but no, I don't, I don't know, Katie. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, we're just winging it. I just want to try it out and see what I could grow here because people said you can't grow certain things here. And I think it's doing exceptionally well this year because of all the rain. Um, I told my wife, I said, I think we just need to pretty much turn the sprinklers on and just let them run because this stuff is growing like crazy with all the rain. So anyway, but yeah, put stuff on your garden. If you just have like a lot of times, a lot of these places around here, just kind of a red soil. Um, I mean this, I'm not even kidding. I got to show you guys one more thing. Um, this little soil spot right here, let me turn this around. I brought my brother's tiller and hooked it onto my tractor. If you guys can kind of tell this red, kind of sandish, clayish stuff. Um, when I went through this little strip right here, you can kind of tell it has a little bit of red in it. 
when I took the tiller through this area, literally the tractor was like grunting. It was so hard. And it looked just like this. Um, I put a whole bunch of horse shavings and uh, our horse manure and shavings on here. Try to get something to protect the ground. But it's just like hard as a rock right here. See, there's nothing there. It just sucks. You can't grow anything in there. We tried growing potatoes right here last year. Nothing happened. And, um, and so that's not what you want. You can see I'm just trying to get grass to grow around here. My lazy dog's sitting there. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, you have to have a nice soil like this. I'm going to dig this up a little bit show you guys. Um, I know it looks really brown to the camera. But this is really nice black soil in person. And uh, you can see it in person. So yeah, it's really spongy out here from all the rain. It looks like a, like just washed through here. But um, that's, my, that's my two cents of advice for gardening. Um, I also, um, one thing that I'm really learning about is um, about soil. And uh, um, I've been listening to a whole bunch of videos and watching a bunch of videos online. If anybody's bored and interested, um, you can go look up. Uh, like Gabe Brown, he's out of, I think, North or South Dakota, or Joel Salatin, he's out of the Shenandoah Valley over in Virginia. And um, those guys have really uh, been interesting to listen to about regenerative agriculture and all that good stuff. And now I'm talking like a farmer over here, and I'm a farrier. But anyway, I'll shut up. Y'all have a good night. God bless you. Thanks for watching tonight. And uh, I see some more comments. Three rows, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, somebody says, you don't drink coffee in the morning. I drink coffee... Um, I drink coffee in a, I'm a casual coffee drinker. So when I had some people here a week or two ago, I drink coffee. I'm a casual coffee drinker. Um, so, uh, but I, I prefer tea. I prefer my tea in the morning, mate. So, um, I like to have some tea and grits. No, I'm kidding. But just tea fresh out of the garden is much better. So anyway, one day I'll raise my own coffee when I have my, uh, property in Hawaii. Y'all... Y'all, I'll shut up now. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. If you guys have questions, feel free to message me or whatever. We uh, raise our own beef. We raise our own chicken. And uh, raise our own pork. Don't have any pork this year. But, um, yeah, that's what we do. So, if you guys have questions, holler at me. And if you want to stop by and look at our little uh, our little operation we got going on, it's nothing fancy. But uh, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. If you guys want to ever come by for real, I'll cook you a burger um, that we raised. And we'll hang out and have a drink or something. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.